everybody Ann here and uh, yeah a couple of you guys in my comment section I'm trying to remember I know Luke and oh ghetto van adventures um, both called it it looks like there's a tensioner pulley that in addition to the serpentine belt snapping um, has gone bad so I have to tell you there are two special angels well there's a lot of angels in my life but last night the two particularly special angels were country girl CG um, Dawn and her her man <laughs> Andy uh, from Andy's Tennessee Life and Homestead they are they went and got the belt Andy came and looked at it this morning I had it towed back to my property luckily I've got AAA and it was it wasn't very far away so um, I came and looked at it and diagnose it yeah there's uh something else going going wrong with it so they picked up the belt they're gonna go pick up the tensioner pulley thing for me today of course i'll have to pay them back but they are digging into their own freaking pockets to help me so if you're going to give anything to anybody right now you go right on over to country girls channel or andy's channel and um, give something to them because literally <laughs> You don't even know the half of it. I probably wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for those two people. So um, I'm going to put the links to their channel down in the description box below. Um, I've done it before. I'm going to do it again. I imagine I'll do it a gazillion times in the future. They haven't been making a lot of videos because they're too damn busy chasing after all my shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's like, well, they've been busy lately, but... Um, I sure do wish they'd go back to having their live chats because I enjoyed them. Um, they're so funny together. They really, really are. I mean, if you ever have the pleasure of meeting either one of them or both of them, then, you know, that's that's a blessing and it's an honor. And um, so it's an honor to have them as my friends. Um, they didn't know me from Adam and from day one. They've just kind of swooped in and have been my support system. So um, I love you two both so much and somehow... I know you don't ask for it, but somehow, someday, I'm going to pay you back. Somehow. Well, of course, I'm going to pay you back for the money that you spent on the parts for the car. But, um, yeah, I think I think uh, I got to do something a little bit more. So, yep, I'm just sitting out here in the sunshine. Um, it is a beautiful sunny day. Thank goodness last night wasn't very cold. I wouldn't have had to use my heater last night. Um, I was parked at that little mini market. It's um, kind of like... In the middle of all these roads, Five Points, and um, it's just a little country store, and the owners let me park there overnight. I did have a cop visit me last night, about 1.30 in the morning. Um, I heard somebody kind of walking around outside, and I was a little scared, to tell you the truth, because I didn't know who it was, but then they turned their, their lights on, I heard a little tap, 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 and I heard, I could see the little, you know, cop light. So then I wasn't scared anymore. I mean, it was the police, and uh, they just wanted to know who was in there and what was going on. And um, so, yeah, I went over to the driver's side window, and I offered to show them my ID, and they didn't even ask for it. Um, I just want them to know that I have absolutely no problems with them getting my, my information at all. I got nothing to hide. Um, and it was just a kid. <laughs> it was just a, I, I must be getting old because I don't know, he's probably in his late 20s or 30s. But to me, that's, that's a kid. And he was real nice. And um, of course, I couldn't get back to sleep for the rest of the night. But um, I don't know, maybe I did get back to sleep for a few hours there. Because I was on level ground and it was actually pretty comfortable um, parked there. And so today I'm kind of parked. I'm usually parked this way. So I'd be sitting in front of my barn doors right now filming this, but um, the tow truck driver, I didn't want him to mess around too much and have to maneuver, so I just had him back it in, and it's just the nose is pointing toward the street, which is a good position because the, band, the van pitches forward slightly, so even when I'm on level ground, it's just, you know, sleeping, there's just a little bit, you know, the, the back seems a little bit higher, even though that's where most of the weight is. So tonight I should feel pretty comfortable sleeping and uh, hopefully sometime today or tomorrow morning they'll be able to get out here and fix it. Um, there's a little bit more than just the serpentine belt. Like a couple of you guys said, you know, there's usually something else going on before 
the belt will go bad and um, I mean it was like immediate I heard it squealing a little bit and I've heard it squeal from time to time oh Betty come on there's no uh, she's barking at the chickens I didn't get to see my chickens this morning um, but the tensioner pulley will cause the the belt to basically fray or break or whatever so they're gonna go get that today and hopefully be able to fix it I'm keeping my fingers crossed but the good thing is is I'm on my land I'm safe I'm comfortable um, I have food I have water um, I have some money coming in hopefully if DoorDash ever pays me and um, if I can just get this van going then I should be okay I should be just fine if nothing else happens <laughs> and this should be a lesson to you all all van lifers when you go out I did have a reserve but I ended up spending it on things that I needed um, so it wasn't enough you know if you're gonna go into fan life make sure it would be great if you had a couple thousand dollars you know in your back pocket or you know in the bank or wherever you it is you keep it if you have at least a couple thousand dollars for when things go bad or if work isn't great you have money to pay your bills don't just you know when I left Ohio I think I may have had seven or eight hundred dollars and that wasn't enough that was traveling expenses and I regret not waiting a little bit longer and saving a little bit more money but you know what I had just had it I had just freaking had it but sometimes even if you've had it you've got to wait a little bit longer you've got to persevere through something even if you don't like it very much just to make sure that you're going to be safe and sound later on so that's my advice to you you know all of you wanting to go full-time van life is make sure that you have some some savings some resources to back you up um, for times when things you know go wrong anyhow that's all I got for you guys today hopefully I won't have to edit this video <laughs> and say prayers for me that everything goes well and that Andy and his buddies are able to fix it all right see you in the next video Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.